my question is why the school go out of this kind of situation from the parents of this little 10 years old girl? Because I believe every parent has the right to know about anything where they happen concerning the life of their Peking. And to think that what happen when these children they escort for Dubai can even go viral for Twitter and other social media platform to the extent that now people can even call the parents. And meanwhile, the school authorities know and they did not inform the parents. I mean, my people, me could not me list, me could not me shake and balance this matter because the tear, it tired me. Come, when I returned back, so two days after, I came to the school. When I got to the school, I met her with two other women in, in her office and they introduced me as, one introduced herself as Mrs. Ke, uh, Mrs. Kemi, I don't, I can't remember her surname and the other one. So that they came from Queensland headquarters. I said, okay, is there a problem? They said, no, that they just wanted me to know that my daughter whom I left in their care that they took to Dubai, that she she had a kiss with a boy and the boy also kissed her. So they found out that they got that uh, kissing thing from true and dear. So I said, okay, if it is that, that I will curtail, that what they wanted me to do was for me to take her phone from her so that she won't they won't keep practicing that i said okay if it's just that that i will collect i was going to get the phone from her so if there was any other thing they said no even mrs kemi told me that i should not tell my husband that it is not everything women discuss or disclose this to their husband so i said oh okay no problem as long as this is uh, just kissing and that i will caution my daughter so i left them then I didn't hear anything from them again. The girl was going. I thought everything was fine. Not until after two to three weeks that we had that conversation, Mrs. Azike, the head teacher now called, now sent me a link that she wanted us to have a Zoom meeting by 5 p.m. I said, okay, that I, would, I was going to join them. So by the time, so by the time, I I locked on. I did not see anybody. I had to call her that I did not see anybody on lunch. Now I said okay, she was going to contact the rest of people. I said okay. So she they we had that meeting. There were many people, boards of directors, which you know, I was even the one asking them, what is your name, sir? What can you introduce yourself? And so one particularly said that his name is Aki. So the Aki was the one, like the head, the person leading the the meeting he began by saying if there is no forgiveness you know there won't be sin if there is no sin there won't be forgiveness you know he was speaking in parable at a time i had to i said what are you talking what are you people discussing that you are just you know he now said no that uh, they just wanted to do a follow-up to ensure that that um I have uh, withdrawn Julian's phone and to check on how Julian is doing. I said, okay, Julian is fine. But he now made a comment. He said, uh, when it happened, I said, sir, what happened? He said, Julian did not tell you. I said, no, Julian did not tell me anything. So on that, I'm sure they have the record of that uh, Zoom meeting. So I was screaming at them. I said, tell me what i don't understand julian did anything happen julian said no so i said okay as it is now that i don't even know what you people are talking about but if he extends more than this that my husband will definitely know about it. but the way people are calling me that i'm not comfortable with it so at the end we finished the the meeting and we left they didn't tell me anything my own so the day after some a parent a parent called me yesterday that please uh, that she needed to see me that it is very very urgent so i had to go to her house when i got to her house she said something has been trending in chris land that which i am not even aware that she has told them that if this woman knows 
that that she doesn't think i am aware of this incident so the woman now called me that look at this video see what is trending in christland that all the parents are aware so immediately i informed my husband look at what is going on so we began to call mrs Azike. she refused to pick her call i called her more than 20 times she didn't respond to the call but later i think she spoke with my husband and told him that she doesn't know anything if such a thing existed was how we began i even began to beat my daughter that how why would this happen what is going on so as we were beating her the girl now said mommy please can i talk to you i said okay what is it she said that the chris land mrs azike threatened her not to speak out they should that she should not speak out so she narrated how it happened how they abandoned them in hotel how the school left them and how she got you know into this thing that is happening now so even on our behalf they have been coming to have meeting they've been sending delegates from their headquarters to have meeting with my daughter without my consent i was not aware we were not informed trying to hide this issue chrisland was trying to push out push us out of the way and my daughter was going psychologically you know insane please i need help as a mother i am begging fellow nigerians to help me please that is my cry so please i am begging nigerians to help me so as a mother and the part that Chris Land played to cover up this issue, this rape issue. Chris Land, on the day of Mother's Day, I was in school. We were all there, not knowing that they had other people, other delegates that came to interrogate my daughter. As soon as we finished that Mother's Day, I left. And they took my daughter elsewhere to go and interrogate her without my consent. Secondly, they've been threatening my daughter that if she speaks out that they are going to, to kill her. She keep quiet. She shouldn't disclose to me. And my daughter was dying in silence. I didn't know. Every day when she's going to school, I'll be forcing her, Julian, come out. I'll be telling her, come outside. Come outside. This child won't want to go to school. Even a teacher, Mr. Timothy, her class teacher was calling her a stupid girl, useless girl. In the midst of other children, in the midst of other students. Please help me. Took this girl, took her to go and do pregnancy tests without me knowing, without the father knowing. And lied to her that they were taking her for COVID test. They took them, they took her almost three times for COVID test. Please, is it possible? Do they use blood sample for COVID test? Do they use urine for COVID test? And I did not know. Not until this thing came up. And to crown it all, because we have started confronting them, because we have started telling them that we are aware of what they, what has happened, they now sent her a suspension letter. After I carried my daughter, handed her over to you. And you people were begging me that she should come. We paid a lot for her to go to that trip with you. And you got there, left them uncared for. Please help me. I need help. My child attends Chrisland School. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Bye.